Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail with another Scrolls Let's Play where I'm doing some live games here. I've tried to do a few just sort of test games. You can see my ratings in 1739. It's actually dropped since a little bit earlier in the day, but I've tried just playing a few games just kind of to warm myself up, and so far I've gotten my ass warmed right to my face. So I'm going to go in today and just see. I'm hoping to get to 1800 rating eventually. Like I said, I was sort of closer to the top 500, but one loss has knocked me back down, so 1800 is my next goal, but at this point I'm just trying to play to get better, and so far I've pretty much faced in both my uh, unranked games and one ranked game that i played so far. A uh, Ooh, someone just ditched there. I've faced uh, pretty much decks that have gotten cards much faster than me, so sometimes you get good draws, sometimes you do not. So we're just going to go and start by saying, look, the user's online, 799. I've heard some people say this game is doomed, this game is destined to fail. I'd say, you know what, Mojang has a, uh, I'm sure, long-term plan or goal for this game. I think everyone would like to see cards out more. Decay will be out soon. And to be honest, look at how Minecraft started. Minecraft wasn't selling millions of copies from day one, and we are just early, early, early in this development. Am I saying Scrolls is going to be the next Minecraft? Hardly. There's a lot of CCG style games out there, but there's a good solid community around it already. As you can see here, I had one re replay. It's like, yeah, you want to post that replay? It's like, I guess I can, but the last game that I had, which was a ranked game, I faced a much lower ranked opponent, and he just outdrew the crap out of me just from the start. And he played it well. My hand was really slow, and he just burned me. So we're just going to be playing today against... Uh, Copper filed, I think that's what it is, is I have a hand that I can work with so far. Great Wolf, Brother of the Wolf, Druid, Burial Ground, Kinfolk Veteran, all cards that I like quite a bit. As much as I don't know what I'm facing, but I'm going to ditch the Burial Ground because it's the lowest priority of everything that I have. If it's another growth deck, though, I'm going to be a little bit amused because I've faced nothing but growth so far today. But that's okay. I mean, I'm a growth player, so... I mean, I can't really complain about that. So we got another growth player. And I'm going to see real quick if he can uh, get things out faster. I guess that was the other thing I ran into. I'm going to sack the Ancestral Totem because it isn't a strong early game. But that's kind of the other thing I ran into before is that the reason my last opponent killed me is that he put his Vader out early and I had absolutely no means to stop it. He actually stayed on four resources until about turn eight or nine and was absolutely whooping my ass just getting creatures out every turn so i think he put his first five cost unit about turn 11 or 12. so i was behind pretty much from the start oh i should probably end turn see this is where when i'm commenting i don't necessarily do as well playing because i miss little things like that actually so we'll see if he gets out a uh, sister of the fox and I don't know if he's going to be fertile soiling or what, but I'm going to move my card down here just to try and... Actually, I don't need to because I can play the Ragged Wolf here. Um, I love my Brothers of the Wolf, but I'm going to have to ditch you for now just because getting rid of the sisters is important for preventing any sort of fertile soil shenanigans that he may be trying here. So, And I have other brothers. They're very strong utility cards, very good defenders as well. And maybe I've made a huge mistake. But I'll take one card for killing his sister. As I get another brother of the wolf, I hate sacrificing these things so much. Uh, but the Kenfolk veteran and the great wolf are both so good. I mean, it's just... It's three of my bread and butter cards. It just kind of makes me sad to get rid of two wolf brothers at the start. And I probably should have moved my wolf up to be a little bit better support instead of getting pinned in down here. So he gets four cards. And he has nothing to play so far, so that's... A little troublesome. I'm gonna let's see here. I really like my Kinfolk Brave. I really like the Great Wolf. Uh, I hate getting rid of these just because. And it's funny because I'm live commentating, so now I'm gonna think about these. These are just all distressing, depressing draws here. Kinfolk veterans are so fast, but it's a gr a, a growth player, so he could quake it at any time. So it's probably better that I go ahead and get out my Great Wolf. I'm going to put it in front here just to try and protect the Kinfolk Brave. I usually don't like to keep him that exposed, but once again, should have moved my other wolf up, but I didn't. So we'll see what he does. I'll keep the Kinfolk Veteran in my pocket just to start dealing with what he puts out. 
and chances are he's going to drop a kinfolk veteran right here. He's sitting on a lot of cards. I wonder if he's just going to quake or double quake this early. Always possible. Like I said, it's not so much this series. Okay, Great Wolf. So I can deal with that with the kinfolk veteran. Because this series is not... I'm, I'm, by the way, also, I'm going to sacrifice here. I'm at 5 energy. That's where I start to like going for cards. So see, Vetter of the Wild and Transposition are both good things that I can definitely, definitely work with. But this series isn't so much about me owning everybody. And I do really appreciate the uh, feedback that I get because it's been really, really helpful for me to improve my game. But this is a series more about just playing, trying to get better, trying to build up, and just being a higher quality scrolls person, whatever you want to call it. I guess that's the right word for it. So warm fuzzies all around. I appreciate y'all watching these videos and seeing as we get a ragged a ragged wolf on my great wolf. I hope he has something else. There's the crimson bull. So he is going to weaken me a little bit. But if that's the only play he has, that tells me that I'm in a pretty good position right now. And I'm going to actually sack the Vader. I don't really need the resources right now. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and move you up move you up and move you up well I could keep him in the bottom lane here just for the time well no I'm not because I'm gonna fertile soil him the reason I'm gonna fertile soil him is so I can get more cards and I actually get another ragged wolf that I can play I'll save that for another turn but right now I'll their purification I may not need purification I don't know if he's playing anything other than crimson bull for enchants but I do have all of the uh, different cards of my order splash out as I've almost taken down one of his idols now and I'm just going to try and protect the Great Wolf. I'm expecting a Ranger's Bane or something here in a little bit. So Sister of the Fox, that's good. That's why we have our Ragged Wolf in here in part, although the Sister is going to eat it regardless. And he does get uh, some Order Splash as well, and he's going to pother me. I'm not sure if that's just for card draw or what he can play. So I'm going to tuck onto this pother because I do have a pretty good card advantage right now. I don't foresee him. Okay, so Kenfolk Brave up top. Interesting. Let me see if I can... See, the Ragged Wolf's going to be pretty useful for me. I don't really want the Sister of the Fox to be there, so... I'm going to get rid of the Purification. I'm just going to take a hope that he doesn't have that. And... I wanted... I'll use the Transposition if necessary even though that will expose my Great Wolf. But I'm going to see if I can pother him out first. So there, all the way down. I get a second God Hand, which is tons of fun for the whole family. And I'm just going to go ahead and clear his board. If I lose one Kinfolk here, well, I'm not going to because I'm going to put a Chump Blocker Sister of the Fox in front. And do I have a 3-drop that I can play? No, but I do get a Quake. So nice things all around I'm gonna save my great wolf once again maybe even sack for resources at some point next turn but there we go just clearing his board I can take out his idol whenever I want to because as a growth as a growth player it's just you do not want him to get creatures on the board because it just takes a snap rally to make things a little better so he moves the great wolf I bet he has a kinfolk better in his hand and he was hoping to get some fast damage in but he gets his own great wolf out instead And I may be able to pother it again. I mean, I kind of want to save my pothers for uh, some slightly different circumstances here, but we need to start thinking about resources as well. So let me go ahead and pother this, because that's going to either put him up or down or just away here. So let's see what card draw we get. Actually, that was maybe the worst case scenario. Uh, I'm not really needing Quake right now, so I'm going to just go ahead and ditch that. And I do want to keep my Great Wolf safer up here, so I'm going to tuck my Brave down here. And let me go ahead and, let's see, I don't have a ton of cards I can play, but I do want to get some things out on the board as well. I could play a Transposition next turn to try and move some cards around, but I'm going to go ahead and put down another Brave just to try and control the center of the board a little bit. And I am going to play the Ragged Wolf just to try and A, harass this guy doing a little bit of damage 
even though I probably should save his haste. But I do want to start buffing my Great Wolf a little bit, so it's worth it to do one damage because that means if he doesn't move, he's going to have to deal with uh, both of my Kemfolk next turn. So, like I said, definitely comment if you think there's better things I can do here. But right now I'm getting a lot on the board and I just got to worry about a Quake because it's going to pretty much empty my board and kind of hurt his too, and I have two God Hands that I'm sitting on right now. So, he's sacking for scrolls, so he doesn't have a Quake. He might be fishing for one. And he's going to go ahead and probably... Okay, so Mangy Wolf, and does he have a... He's not going to be able to play a Crimson Bull as well, but he does have a Focus, so... I have to compliment on that. Very nice. I do approve of that message, so... Druid Burial Ground is pretty good for me in this situation. I'm going to get rid of... Well, let's start with... Uh, before we even do anything... Let's go ahead and just move these guys around. Okay, so second Druid Burial Ground. So that's good because that means that I can go ahead and sacrifice one. And I can play the Yarl now, but I'm a little worried about a rally. I don't really want to get rallied here. So what I'm going to do instead is just start conservatively gear up towards the possible god hand next turn. If he has a quake, it's just going to clear my board entirely. And then I have the Yarl to work with. Because for now, I'm just pushing weenies. What can he do? If he can't punch through this, then it's going to heal next turn. If he can rally, then it's going to possibly really screw me up. So we'll see what he has. If it's going to be a quake, if it's going to be something else in front. So there's another mangy wolf, so... Right there, he's going to actually bust through my line. And the Crimson Bull as well, so he's really going for it right now. I don't even... No, that really wasn't necessary, I don't think. No, but he wanted to do some idle damage, so... There we go. Two Jarls, two God Hands. Not exactly what I need right now. So we'll go ahead and ditch one of these. And Evader's okay at this point. I mean, two mangy wolves, that's that's a good way to turn the game. I'm going to go ahead and drop the Jarl down here. Let's drop the Jarl up here. Let's go ahead and put some pressure up top. Like I said, I do have a god hand that I can start to use. Probably should have moved something in front of the Jarl just to make sure he doesn't really start to hurt me. But yeah, good play by him. I had all of my units in a line, and he just went and said, screw it, I'm going to eat you up. So I started fast, but notice that I'm getting a lot of spells instead. So let's see if he's actually going to do a ghetto god hand on me or what. Oh my god, three mangy wolves in a row. That is just fucking devastating right there. <sighs> okay. And the focus. So he's going to take out one of my idols. So I guess I am using one of my god hands next turn. I don't think I can end the game next turn, but let's see here. If he leaves that wolf exposed, he plays a ragged wolf as well. So that's just going to haste and do a little bit of damage. And suddenly I'm in more trouble. Like I said, I've been really struggling with growth tonight. Really, really, really struggling. As you can see right here, I got a mangy wolf that doesn't do me a ton of good. I actually do not have enough to really help me out here. I can rally and hurt something, but I'm just so far behind now. It's just, what can you do against three Ragged Wolves? What can you do? <sighs> well, or three Mangies. Just, that's, that's the kind of stuff that I hope that I can get <laughs> from time to time. But right now, if he has uh, good stuff in his hand, he may be able to end this game here very shortly. So let's see here. I can kind of hurt things, but that god hand doesn't do me nearly as much good with less units. So I'm going to have to play something up here and hope that he doesn't have anything to try and kill me. I'm going to go ahead and try and hurt this guy too. So I got a lot of rallies on the board. I can rally. I can possibly god hand next turn. But I know he doesn't. he's not going to have any more mangies for a while, but that is how you turn around a game because I was way in the lead and then I wasn't. So Sister of the Fox as well. 
yeah there's not there's not a lot you can do sometimes it's just a card game let's see if he okay so brother of the wolf so he's really protecting this guy right now I guess the other question is if I mangy so it's here I can possibly do if I god hand I can possibly break through most of this or at least some of it but it's gonna cost all of my resources if I mangy I could possibly play these guys again <sighs> just sucks in a way because I don't really need that fertile soil I need things on the board not off of it so we're gonna do the uh, balls to the walls play as it were I'm gonna go ahead and drop you down here like so and we're just gonna hope for the best and we're gonna god hand and see what we can do so four damage just break through that line I have a second god hand I don't think I can end the turn but I needed to take care of that situation and try and clear the board a little bit I'm gonna lose some creatures as a result you can't possibly take out this mangy that wouldn't be the best option for him Whew. Yeah, my idols are still intact. He's hurting a little more. But you don't want to trust that he has six growth and isn't going to do anything with it. It is possible he could Crimson Bull here. Or any number of things. So there's a wolf brother. And there's the Crimson Bull. Alright. So he didn't kill my Jarl, but he got damn close. Okay, so Great Wolf, Mangy Wolf fertile soil also nice let's go ahead and sack for cards because I'm gonna want to tuck away that combo here in a little bit all right there we go stuff I can work with I do want to protect this guy he is a ranger's bane away from dying uh, I cannot take out his idol with just this but I do want to clear these guys. I want to get the usefulness out of my Jarl while I can. And I'm going to be able to try and burst from here. I just got to be concerned about what he has underneath. Like I said, I've seen some Crimson Bulls. I've seen some Brothers of the Wolf. If I don't God Hand now, I feel like I'm going to lose this guy next turn. So I'm going to. This is the aggressive play. Probably not the smartest play. I'm leaving my bottom idols exposed. But we're going to God Hand again and just hope for the best here. I don't think it'll be enough to actually kill that idol, unfortunately, but that's how it goes. So three and three, idol down to one. So if he doesn't defend it, I can Ragged Wolf it, but you can be damn sure that he's going to defend it. Probably going to drop a Ragged Wolf and Kemfold Veteran to kill this guy next turn. And yes, there's a Kemfold Veteran for me, and he is he's really going for it. All right, so I don't want that brother of the wolf to uh, be very happy. And I can actually do quite a bit of damage here. <sighs> yeah, I don't want him starting to pop off wolves. I do want my great wolf out to protect this guy, so it's kind of a tough choice. Uh, because that veteran, the way, the way he splits, if I put stuff up here, you know what, I can, I can deal with him doing a little bit of damage. I need to protect my Jarl. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to we're going to play protect the Jarl. And that means what do I not want? We don't want Ranger's Bane if that's the case. So there's a Quake and an Ancestral Totem that actually helps me quite a bit for next turn. Not so much this turn. So yeah. Go ahead and drop this here. And we'll go ahead and drop this here. I'm going to let him see what he does down there. Worst case scenario, at least I have a Quake in my pocket now. And he's going to have to do something to protect that idol. I can drop the totem just to work with it. So there's an Eagle Eye. And he's probably got something else nasty that he can drop here in a moment. Just got to see if we're going to race for the top or the bottom here. If he's going to summon a Ragged Wolf, he could be trying to go to the top. If he has a transposition, he could be trying to have even more fun. Oh my god, he has energy as well. Is that Potion of Resistance? 
Was not expecting that. Suddenly I'm missing my pothers and my purification. Okay, so slight change of plans here. Let's go ahead and sack the Vader for order here. <laughs> Surprise. Very nice. I approve of that message. Okay. So we're just going to work on uh, the idols up here as best we can. I hope he doesn't have another veteran at this point. Don't know about that. He's saying I have the better situation. That may not be true. But what we are going to do at this stage is go ahead and drop the ancestral totem. I'm going to put it back here. So I have nine resources. So that does buff my guy. Okay, cool. And I just got to hope for a pother or something. Now this is potion of resistance, but it does only take two damage to kill it. So. It is possible that I could mangy wolf and break through his defense. Blessing of haste. So this is not going to end well for my great wolf. But he can't focus and blessing of haste. He could iron whip or efficiency or do any number of scary things he has in his hand. I have not seen a triple deck like this. I'm glad I'm actually recording here because uh, I'm having a lot to think about. And I do have a quake, but it's super risky. But I'm holding on to my mangy wolf, hoping that he does not try and break through. But there's the Ragged Wolf to buff, so bye-bye, Jarl, and bye-bye, everybody. So, as usual, with growth, it feels like I'm just one turn away from doing something, anything with my cards. And there's the Pother. Uh, okay, let's see what the Pother gives me first. Because if I can get this, yes, there we go. So, one part down, I get Purification as well. So I don't really need that now, but it's going to be nice to pocket that for later. Uh, it's a calculated risk, but I'm going to get rid of the Quake. And I get another Quake and a Brother of the Wolf. So I can play both of these up here and just see what I can push. So Purification is really the card that I need right now. And I could use the Mangy Wolf's ability next turn. That may be the more prudent thing to do at this point, but we will get out the Wolf Brother. And we're just going to push for this one idol. And this could be where Quake ends up saving the day. I don't know. I hate, I hate dropping that much damage on just that guy, though. But I don't have a rally to play next turn. Or a god hand, excuse the burp. So now it's just an interesting, interesting situation. As round 17, we're both having to think quite a bit. That is quite the loop, Copper Filed. Quite the loop. Just a try power. Because I, I tried to splash Potion of Resistance, as you all might remember, and it didn't work out too great. Um, so let's see here. He's summoning a lot of wolves. This is what I wanted to avoid before. And this is where Quaking could work to my advantage. I don't have a lot to follow up with it, though. But he's going to take out my, my precious, precious... Well, Quaking will actually take out my totem as well, but at this rate I do want to be able to hurt him as much as I can. But I will need to purify that guy because he does have the Potion of Resistance. So I'm a little worried here because he's thinking about his cards. There's a Kinfolk Veteran, so better situation my ass right now. <laughs> as he's going for my idols, and there's the Blessing of Haste as well, so he's going to be able to take out a second idol. So I am uh, in shit creek once again. Or no, he's not going to be able to take it out. He's just going to be able to come really freaking close. And I get a rally. Oh, man. That rally is not quite enough to end the game. Oh, I'm so close. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Because I can't quake. Oh, shit. Okay. Ah, 
so I have purification in my pocket. I'm going to need that. If I quake, I can't quake and rally. I don't have 11 resources. Ah, oh, damn, this is so close. So I just need something that will do 4 damage. And that kind of sucks. Because I do want the fear purification there. I do want the... Uh, there's just so much to think about here. I do have multiple resources. I guess I'm going to pocket the quake in case of big, big emergency. Because unfortunately that guy has too much health. So we are going to do this. And maybe I should have sacrificed this first. There's a fertile soil. There is a great wolf as well. And he may be able to kill me with a god hand. I don't know, but he he can't god hand. Crimson bull or whatever. You win. So right now he's really defending all of his lane, which is good. Good for me because that means he's not attacking the uh, one idol. But if he does have a ragged wolf. I'm in trouble. There's the Potion of Resistance again, as I got rid of the Purification before. So Blessing of Haste as well. He's he's going to creamy. I'm just getting outplayed here. A lot of ways I possibly could have done this, just going up for the top too hard. So you got me, pretty much is what I got to say here. All cards I want to keep, but Fertile Soil, not going to do it. Sister of the Fox, not going to do it. Quaking, not going to do it. Just so much is not going to do it. So let's quake. Like I said, that does not save my ass at all. Okay, so we do not want this guy attacking, but the Sister of the Fox is going to die no matter where I put her. And this idol's pretty much gone. So let's see, another Sister of the Fox. Not necessarily what I wanted. I could just sacrifice her for resources if need be. So there's the Ragged Wolf. And he's going to take out a second idol here. So if I cannot deal... Okay, so Pother. And can he finish it now? I don't think he can if he hasn't sacked for resources, or maybe he can. But yeah, this is just... Maybe there's more I could have done, but the three mangy wolves in the middle of the game just really, really wrecked me. So I'm on a bit of a losing streak again. You could say there's a kinfolk brave as well, so that's really, really fucking harsh, man. But that's scrolls. Sometimes you get the cards, sometimes you don't. All right. So now he's spared my sister. I just gotta look and say, well, what the fuck am I gonna do now? All right. So nothing to be but friendly about this here. Um, the Kinfolk Brave's not gonna do as much for me as others. So here, I can play possibly multiple cards, though I do want to keep the Mangy Wolf. So we're going to go ahead and play the Sister. God damn. Because he can possibly take me out entirely next turn, and there's nothing I can do without just having some chump blockers here. Though I don't think mathematically he can take me out entirely. So let's see. Do I get something here that'll let me quake? I get a Pother. It's going to be a card I need to possibly tuck and hold on to. We're just going to go ahead and pother right now. Just to see, because I'm desperately card searching. There we go. I can't always agree with the pother, but I'm going to try and just see if I can hold the line up top. Would love to have actually exposed that guy. Probably should have used the pother on the brother of the wolf and exposed him, but instead we're going to play the great wolf and we're going to sack for cards. So fertile soil and kinfolk brave again. Didn't have time to play it, that sucks, but I took too long to think. So we're almost at GG. Oh, so very close. Oh, 
oh so very close. Now he's not he doesn't have a god hand, but he might be ramping up to it. So I've got to really watch my ass here. Alright, so which lane is he trying to protect down there now? Probably should have tried to go for the bottom ones anyway, just so I could have spread out damage. <sighs> so yeah, we're at the 30 minute mark, and this game's still going only at turn 20. Lots of thinking going on in this game, which is totally cool. So there's the focus as well. He's getting close. I'm going to be one... <sighs> Come on, just one more life. Oh, two more life. So there's a Druid Burial Ground. I've got to start. I got to. I got to drop the mangy up here. And uh, start doing something. Because otherwise, he could god hand and totally take me out. So as much as I want to play the kinfolk veteran right now, we're gonna go mangy. Well, actually, let's start with sacrificing. Let's go and sacrifice the uh, kinfolk brave. Nope. So that doesn't do a ton of good. So we're going to just go ahead and fully commit to defense up here for the moment. And we're going to go for a clear of the bottom of his board. And hopefully that will get us some payday. Hopefully just a little bit. Like I said, if he has a Crimson Bull or some kind of haste or something, there's going to be a problem. There's a... Oh, pother! Sweet. Sweet pother at the last possible second. So I shouldn't have put that guy there. There's the mangy wolf as well. So GG, very well played to you, sir. I totally got outplayed in circles by this guy. So yeah, total props to you, Copper. Excellent uh, three splash deck if you want to see what one looks like. And yeah, just the mangy wolves have totally wrecked me. And there goes my precious, precious, precious rating falling back down. But still, educational game. Really hope you all enjoyed that. I look forward to looking at this replay again and seeing maybe what I could have diff done differently, but just the three mangy wolves in the middle really destroyed uh, the momentum that I had, plus me drawing a bunch of enchants and set of creatures. But that's scroll. Sometimes you win, sometimes your rating drops back down. But hope you all enjoyed it. I will see you all next time.